Hello coders, in this video I am going to explain you very interesting part of missing values in pandas drop any method of pandas data frame. Drop any method is used to remove missing values. If your data set consists of null values also called as missing values, we can use drop any method to analyze and drop the rows and the columns in the data set. As you can see drop any methods having five parameters axis, how, thresh, subset and in place to understand these parameters here i have mentioned five questions so do you want to drop rows or columns having missing values first question so now if we want to drop rows then we have to write axis is equal to zero also we can write index in place of zero to drop rows which contain missing values if we want to drop columns which contain missing value then we have to write one axis is equal to one in place of one also we can write this string columns to drop the columns which contain missing values second parameter how so now second question do you want to drop rows or columns having at least one missing value or all missing values so for that we have to use this parameter so if we write how is equal to any if any any values are present drop that row or column any values 1 2 or 3 if any null values are present drop that row or column again we can select row or column by this axis parameter 0 or 1 if we write how is equal to all here all then if all values are null then drop that particular row or column again we can select row or column by this axis parameter now third parameter so let me ask Third question, do you want to set some threshold value to drop the missing values? So now here we can write threshold value as an integer. Also it is optional. Require that many non-NA values. For example, suppose keep only the rows with at least two non-NA values. So again, if I want the rows with at least two non-NA values or two non values. So what I want to keep? I want to keep only the rows with at least two non NA values then here I have to set threshold is equal to two now that I will show you practically don't you worry about this now fourth question do you want to drop rows of some selected columns only like a partiality right so do you want to drop the rows of some selected columns only so for that we have to write subset parameter which define in which column or columns to look for missing values now fifth question do you want to drop rows or columns temporarily or permanently for that we can write in place parameter to true or false by default in place is false now as you can see over here some of the parameters are already set by default value of access parameter is zero means drop the rows which contain missing values now you can see by default parameter of how is any means what here you can see as i said by default value of how is any means if any null values are present drop that particular row or column as you can see by default drop any will drop row or rows because here by default axis value is zero and how is equal to any if any null values are present drop that row or column by default it will drop row because here by default value is zero now thresh value is none subset value is also none and in place is equal to false means it will not modify the existing data frame that i will show you practically and also i have created one separate video for this in place parameter that you can find in the list of pandas tutorial so now let i show you this all practically so for that let i import first pandas spd pandas spd shift enter to execute this cell now data let me read our data set using pd read underscore csv i am going to use data underscore m dot csv this data set i have created just to explain you the concept of missing values in pandas that you can download it from my github account link is given in the description of this video now you can see our data set that you can see over here so here i have created many missing values that you can see over here 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 these values are missing also here i have created null 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 so now when you read our data set pandas automatically interpret 
this all missing values and this null values as NaN that you can see over here. Now let me solve our first question. So now drop the rows where at least one value is missing that you can see over here. We have to drop the rows. So by default axis is equal to 0. So if we write here data drop Na. So we actually not required to change any parameter because drop the rows by default axis is 0 which is over here. Also we can write if you mention axis or not over here by default axis is equal to 0. Now drop the rows where at least one value is missing. Now also we require the help of other parameter how which is by default any. What you mean by any? If any NA values are present drop that row or column. Any NA values 1, 2, 3 any. Just drop that row or column. I want to drop the rows where at least one value is missing. So now here we require how is equal to any. Please remember by default value of how is any. So actually here we not require to write any parameter. So now as you can see over here this is the output. So now here this row contain one missing value. This row also contain one missing value. This also contain one missing value. This row contain all missing values. Just drop it because here parameter is any. So if any NA values are present drop that row or column that you can see over here. So now here in place of axis as you can see also we can write index both are same. In place of this zero also we can write index. Now next question drop the columns where at least one value is missing. So now here you can see our data set. I want to drop so we have to write drop NA then here we have to write axis is equal to 1 because here we want to drop the columns where at least one value is missing. So also we require the help of how parameter any. So here we not require to mention how is equal to any as you can see by default value of how is any. That means if any NA values are present drop that row or column. So now here it will drop the column having any missing values any NA values that you can see over here. So what will be the output output is empty data frame that you can see over here because in our data frame there are some missing values in our each and every columns. So here one missing value here two three missing values. So it drops all the columns that you can see that's why here is empty data frame. Now next question drop the rows where all values are missing. So now here is our data set. Now drop NA. What we want drop the rows. So here we have to select axis is equal to index which is by default. Also we can write 0. So drop the rows where again we require to use how parameter. This time we want to drop rows where all values are missing that you can see over here. In this last row only all values are missing. There is no any other row having all values are missing. In this row all values are missing. So it will just drop this last one last row only. So now so here for that we have to write all. If all values are null or all values are NA then only drop that particular row or column. So we want to drop the row or rows. So that's why here I have selected axis is equal to index. In place of index also we can write 0. If you do not write this by default axis is 0. So now here we have to write what all. That you can see over here. It just drop last row which having all missing values. Now next question. Drop the columns where all values are missing. Drop the columns. So now here you can see our data set. Now we want to drop the columns. So here we have to write now explicitly axis is equal to 1. So in place of 1 also we can write what columns. That you can see over here. Either we can write 1 or columns to drop the columns which contain missing values. So here is I am writing columns. Now drop the columns where all values are missing. Now again we require the help of how parameter. 
if all values are na or if all values are missing drop that particular row or column so now here how is equal to what all because drop the columns where all values are missing so now what will be the output output is our data frame because we do not have any columns in there all values are missing you can see over here some of the values are missing but not all values are missing there is no any columns where all values are missing so now it will just output our original data frame as it is that you can see over here now next question keep only the rows with at least two non na values non na values so please concentrate over here keep only the rows with at least two non null values two non na values now here you can see we are having many rows having two non null values so here like this two non null values this one and two one and two one two and three all non na values here two non na values two only last row having more than two na values that you can see over here so it will just drop our last row so now first let me print our data set now here we have to write what drop na and rows so here we have to select what zero which is by default keep only the rows with at least two non na values so now we required the help of thresh parameter which is threshold require that many non na values so here we have to write thresh is equal to 2 that will keep only the rows with at least two non na values that you can see over here this two non na values two here is three non na values here is two here is three here is two here is three but here is more than two na values that you can see two null values so it will just drop this row that you can see over here last one seventh one now so define in which columns to look for missing values or na values now let we print first our data set so now drop na so here define in which columns to look for missing values so now here we require the help of subset parameter define in which columns to look for missing values so i want to look for the missing values in the particular column only so now here we can write subset keep other values as it is like axis is equal to zero how is equal to any we want to keep as it is but i want to select the subset value so axis is equal to zero that will select the row and how is equal to any that means what if any na values are present drop that row or the column but i want to select or i want to search for this row or rows from specific columns only not all the columns that we have to mention it over here so define in which columns to look for the missing values only marks column that you can see over here in the marks column these values these two rows having some missing value so it will drop this two and this one that you can see over here now also check for the grades column for missing value but do not touch this name that you can see over here so now i want to check for the missing values in name column and grades only please do not touch marks now you can see over here it keep any n value in the marks as it is because here in the subset we have just mentioned name and grade to look for the missing values to look for the missing values now final one in place so in place parameter 
here you can see by default in place is equal to false that means it will create the new object of the data frame but it will not modify the existing data frame for example if i write data over here and drop na if i write in place is equal to in place is equal to false so it will create the new object df1 that you can see over here with this performed operation that you can see over here but it keep as it is our original data frame that you can see over here i have created the separate video for in place parameter only i request you to watch it once now in place of this if i write in place is equal to true then it modifies the existing data frame so it will just change the existing data frame that you can see our original data frame has been updated that you can see over here if anywhere you write our original data frame it is now modified because our in place parameter is true it modifies the existing data frame and return nothing if you write in place is equal to false so it will create the new data frame object and it will not modify the existing data frame so hope all of you are clear with drop na thank you thank you for watching so if you have any doubt or query regarding drop na method of pandas please write in the comment section below thank you thank you for watching